Hi, today I want to share with you uh, the sprays that I made. I saw a video on YouTube about uh, how to make sprays and I tried it out uh, by myself and I uh, did some of them. And uh, this one would, uh, I, for this one I used uh, different colors of uh, heart shaped beads and this one and this one and the gorgeous and the last one this is what I want to tell you more about um, first of all uh, I want to tell you uh, something about sprays first after you make the spray I, I find out that uh, the best way to display it is uh, that uh, you make the, the branches or the, the strands every other one uh, going uh, more protruding out uh, 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 forward uh, like this, uh, this one, and then this one. Was it? Yeah, this one, and this one, and this one. But uh, don't make them any of them pointing the same direction. Okay. So, what's so special about this one? And you can see the difference that uh, there are five beads in each strand or each branch. But for this one, there's only one bead. And uh, in the video that I saw, uh, that I watched, um, uh, uh, the lady taught me um, to, uh, you know, the uh, the the wire should uh, should uh, pass around the bead and then do the twisting. And for this one, because there are three, uh, five beads, and I don't want uh, the wire to go all the way downward, so. Um, for the sake of convenience, I use larger beads, but uh, the wire is just the same width. So I've done the first strand and uh, do the twisting. Actually, uh, the, the first one is uh, easier to do. Um, so I thread five beads and then go around the first one and then re-threading the second, third, fourth and fifth one and then do the twisting. And this is the second strand or second branch and uh, in the same way I do the threading of the five beads but uh, this one is more tricky because um, the, the beads will tend to loosen up so what I came up with was that uh, after you do the first threading you have to bend the wire here to make it memorize the position and then you straighten it up again and then loosen up uh, the first bead and do the threading of the other four and uh, after you do the threading it will very um, most likely it will get loosened so you have to tighten it up again and pull and uh, it's better to use a tweezer or forceps or whatever then, and because I already did the bending here, so it's easy for me to pull the thread and uh, tighten the whole strand or the whole branch up. Otherwise, it would just tend to loose up, loose up, and loose up. So that's uh, the trick of uh, doing the, uh, the, the branch uh, with a, a, uh, more than one bead. So um, you can continue to do the twisting and I don't want to go too into detail of uh, how to hold the wires and do the, uh, the whole, whole spray and you can watch the other video and I will put the link in the description box. Um, if you have any question, you can ask me. Thanks for watching. Bye.